Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one because I'm going to be sharing with you my latest MZ Wallace handbag purchase. It was a purchase that was not at all expected at the moment, but it happened and it arrived today and I love it. So I wanted to hop on, film this video and share with you guys my latest purchase and addition to my collection. So if you're curious as to what I ended up buying and bringing home, keep on watching. So the latest and greatest MZ Wallace bag that I decided to purchase and add to my collection is the mini Soho tote. And this particular color is called beautiful. No, just kidding. It's called dragon fruit. It is a gorgeous, 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 rich gem toned pink. I am trying to formulate thoughts as I am filming and speaking to you guys and trying to ignore the fact that I can see this beautiful color in the screen here as I am filming. It really, I mean, if you're a pink person like I am, you will be taken aback by the beauty of this particular color in person. It's so beautiful, you guys. I am going to set this bag actually over here so that I can speak a little easier with you guys, you know, without worrying about my arm falling off or hurting or anything like that. So you can enjoy it here as I explain to you kind of how and why I ended up making this very, very last minute purchase. If you're not familiar with MZ Wallace, they recently had their end of the year sale. As any business would do, they send out an email when the sale first goes live, when it's winding down and all throughout that time period to encourage you to go visit and see what they have up for sale and if any of the items that they have available for purchase would be good for you. So obviously from the time the sale started through to the last day, I would occasionally hop on just to see what they have and see if any new styles were added, any new colors were added, you know, just to see, you know, it's curiosity. It's like window shopping, I guess you could say, without leaving your house or leaving the comfort of your sofa or your bed. I just would hop on every once in a while, take a look, never really bought anything throughout this whole sale. The final day of the sale, they sent an email, hey, it's the last day, insert buzzwords here, enticing comments, things to propel you to their website and encourage you to visit it yet again and hopefully make a purchase. Well, I did just that. I went to their website, decided to see what was left in this last day, see if maybe anything again was added that was new or if anything caught my eye, you know, on the second, third, fourth, fifth review. And sure enough, I saw this beautiful mini Soho. And when I saw it, the light bulb just went on in my head. And I don't know how or why this connection was made, but it was made. And I looked at this bag on their website and thought to myself, hang on, I think this bag needs to be in my collection. Why, you might ask? Well, if you've been following my channel, you know that one of my go-to MZ Wallace bags is the small Sutton. And if you're not familiar with that particular bag, I pulled one of my small Suttons out to show you. This particular print, if you're curious, is the Night Storm. I have referenced this particular print in a couple of videos in the past, though I've never showed it to you guys on camera. Here it is, the beautiful Night Storm. So as you can see, the small Sutton looks a lot like the mini Soho or vice versa. And like I said, if you've been watching my channel, you know this is my go-to bag. I use this probably 95% of the time on the weekends. I will occasionally use it for work. I will definitely use it for travel because it's so smushable and you can just throw it anywhere and it takes up no space. It's so light, it's small, but holds a ton. I mean, for me, this is small, but you know, different strokes, I guess. But the point is it's my go-to bag and I just kind of had this, you know, epiphany, this light bulb moment, like this bag is just like this bag except it's a little more polished. It's a little more elevated. This small Sutton is a little more casual and obviously this is a casual look as well, but it's a little fancier, I guess, for lack of a better word. So 
I thought that this would be a great bag to add to my collection. Since I do lean on these small Suttons so often, it only made sense to add this to my collection, kind of see how it does. And being that it was on sale, and actually this particular bag was, I believe, 50% off at the time that I purchased it. 50. What a fantastic time to make this purchase, bring it home and see if it works for you versus, you know, having bought it at full price. Full price for this bag, by the way, guys, is $195. So do the math. I paid $97.50 plus tax. No shipping for me because I'm a certain level of their MZ Wallace Rewards program because I spend money there. So I thought it was the perfect opportunity to bring this new bag to try it and see if it ends up being a nice fit for me and my lifestyle. Now, aside from the, you know, just basic similar look and function of the bag versus the small Sutton that I've had forever, this beautiful bag has a feature that some of the bags from MZ Wallace have, but not others. And once I discovered that this bag had this feature, it was even more enticing. And I know you're probably wondering, what is this amazing feature? And I may have hyped it up. So if you are feeling womp womp after I tell you what this feature is, sorry. But for me, it's a, it's a big deal. Look at these two pockets here. Do you see them? Right here and right here. They're like exterior, interior, hidden pockets love that feature because to the naked eye and to anyone that sees you walking down the street with this would have no idea that you have two extra basically hidden compartments to this bag. I think that is such an amazing feature and, and security feature really to this bag because you can unzip this front one, for example, you see that? And you guys look at this. My hand is here. It is the whole length of the front here. Same with the back pocket. It goes the whole way. I mean, this is a great way, like let's say if you're traveling, to put your cell phone here and hide it. No one would know that there's a compartment there to have anything. In the other compartment, you could even put your wallet. You could put your keys you know they're just I, it's just a really great security feature in my opinion and a huge draw for this particular style for me and as you saw earlier in the video when i first unraveled it to you guys the color like that was that was something i was a little unsure of when I ended up purchasing it. I was like, okay, so I'm starting to get sold on this style. I'm starting to connect the dots in my head, realizing, hey, it's a lot like my small Sutton. This could work. You know, the price is right. It's fantastic. A great price point to bring home a new style and see if it even does work for me. Now, what color? I feel like there were more than three colors, but I'm only remembering three. So if there were more and there may have been... And you know what, there probably were at the beginning of the sale, but at the time that I started to really consider this particular bag, there were only three, I think, at least three that were on my radar. The beautiful dragon fruit, apple, which is a red color, and then dazzle, which was a blue color. I was like, oh, okay, so now what color do we go with? Dazzle and dragon fruit were both priced at 50% off. Apple was $20 more. And I don't want to say that that was a deciding factor because really at the end of the day, it's only $20, but kind of, you know, just, especially when it's a new style to your collection, to your family, to your home, being smart with the money. And, and even if it is only $20, it's still, you know, $20 should it not work out for you. So I was thinking, okay, maybe I should go with dragon fruit or maybe dazzle. But then I remembered, like you saw, I have the night storm small Sutton. So I'm like, okay, no, I don't need another blue. This, this beautiful night storm has my heart as far as the color goes. And I'm not a big blue person when it comes to bags anyway. So Navy was super close to black. So it worked for me. I feared that I would buy dazzle and then just not wear it. So then it really boiled down to apple or dragon fruit. And then I was starting to think because I was actually recently in New York and went to the MZ Wallace store in Soho, which was so much fun. 
I saw Apple in person. I didn't see it in this Bedford nylon. I saw it in one of their like suede leather fabrics for one of their small leather goods. And it was lovely. It was lovely in person, but you know, even when fabrics change, like, yeah, I saw it in a suede leather. This is Bedford, it's gonna look different. I couldn't really base my color choice off that, but even so, I did, you know, think back to when I had that item in my hand and I started to think that, you know, the red of Apple was more of an orange based red and I personally prefer a blue based red. And then again, with the light bulbs and epiphanies, you know, during this whole process, I remembered that I have a dragon fruit Holly wallet from MZ Wallace, which I'm gonna peek down here to grab it. I'm off camera, bang, right here. And it's actually funny because as I started to pull out my various props for this video, this was advertised as dragon fruit, but they're not the same. They're a little different, which to be honest, guys, I kind of like. I try to not repeat colors and styles very much in my collection, unless I know it's a style that is like my go-to, such as the small Sutton. But um, I was really pleasantly surprised that they didn't match. But, you know, when I did have that light bulb moment and thought, hey, dummy, I have already dragon fruit at home. I can kind of use this. Maybe it'll help me determine which color to go for. So I busted out my wallet, took a look at it, and I'm like, you know what? This is a beautiful pink. And pink is a tricky color, I think, for adults. And if you feel differently, let me know in the comments below. But I feel like, you know, some pinks, for lack of a better word, are too childish, too kiddy looking. And I didn't feel that way with dragon fruit. Now, if you saw my video from like a couple weeks ago, I unboxed my Chanel XL card holder, which I love. But, you know, let's call a spade a spade. I'm gonna grab it right here. It's a kitty pink. It's a beautiful pink, but it's a kitty pink. And if you recall in that video, I referenced it as Barbie pink, bubblegum pink. I mean, and it really is. And for a small other good, I think it, is a great color, but for a bag, for an adult, you know, for me, it just wasn't going to be an option. So I obviously opted for a small leather good, which is also significantly cheaper than a Chanel bag, but let's not go there. Um, so, you know, when I started to kind of sit down and ponder between apple or dragon fruit, you know, I started to come to the realization that dragon fruit is a mature pink, I guess you could say. It is a really nice, rich pink. And as I said at the beginning of the video, it's more of a gem tone. And I feel like once a color takes on that gem tone hue, it kind of instantly makes it more adultish. And so that is how I felt about dragon fruit when I was looking at it online, comparing it to Apple, and also when I pulled out my wallet to kind of get a better idea, because you know, stock photos are one thing, in-person photos and human photos, non-professional photos are another. So when I kind of took all that into consideration, plus the fact that I had seen Apple in store and concluded that there's a good chance that in person I was going to feel about the apple in Bedford the same way as I did when I saw it in the suede leather, that it was more of an orange red versus a blue red, which is what I prefer. I figured, let me go with the dragon fruit. Let's get this color, this style home, see how I like it, and then just kind of go from there. So it's beautiful. My opinion has not changed from a few minutes ago. I, um, I'm trying not to get lost in just staring at this. Like I said, I'm telling you, you guys, it's such a beautiful color. And you know, I will follow up with you guys once I've actually used it, cause it's been here, what? It arrived at 9.30 AM, which, you know, way to go FedEx. I, it was here before I really officially got out of bed. So that was a great way to wake up. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. So I can't really speak to its functionality or, you know, really how I feel about it, but definitely off first impressions, love. And um, I definitely foresee myself using it. I mean, certainly now because I'm all giddy and excited about having this new edition, but then I don't know if it might take a backseat for a bit since we are in the winter months and I might opt to use it more in the summer, but because it isn't such a summery pink, I feel like it's 
more of a year-round option. You know, we'll see. It's Time will tell just kind of as how, how it goes when I first start to use it and you know how things pan out in that regard and actually another reason why i decided to actually this was i think the nail you know the nail in the coffin the straw that broke the camel's back like in a good way that really made me decide like yeah you're gonna buy this bag i have this hat you guys <laughs> and i think it goes well with it it's not a perfect match but you know I mean, it goes really nicely with it. And so like in the winter, you know, in the winter you're wearing all dark colors. At least I am, my coat's black. I, I wear black bottoms a lot or jeans. It's all dark and you know, the weather can be, you know, a bit gloomy and dreary at times, you know, throw this hat bag combo. It kind of just brightens up the day, brightens up your personality, your feeling for the day, I think. And maybe perhaps the feeling of the people around you. They'll see this nice, happy color in January, February, and just be like, ooh, that's nice. If this particular bag has now caught your eye, I will make sure to link to the MZ Wallace site down below so that you can see what colors are available. When I looked, they had black available and they had port, which was a nice wine Merlot color, a really lovely color, perfect for this time of year. Do you own the mini Soho tote? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments down below. I obviously can't speak beyond my first impressions because I've only had it a few hours. And obviously right now it is pure love. But if you're out there and you can, let me know in the comments down below. Let's talk about it. If you like this video, make sure to give it that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.